Hi Collecta, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal, a Cosmic Divine Psychic Medium. Welcome to my channel. So if you're new, welcome. You're definitely guided to me for a reason. Know that as my platform is meant to awaken and align the 144,000 star seeds, earth angels, light workers, healers that are here helping with the upliftment to humanity. Seeing so you know you're very special, right? If you are not guided back to me, because you're one, you're someone that I've uh, came into a contact or alignment with as, um, you know, everybody that comes in alignment with me, right, will be feeling my healing energy. So if you have not, you're being guided back to me for healing, right? Because I do have a lot of connections and contracts. And, you know, the, the fact that I'm talking about this could be a message for you, too. That, you know, if you have these certain people, confirmation by phone, right? That you have certain people that just can't let you go, stay out of your energy, whether they're exes, um, past friends, things like that. It's because you had some sort of contract with them, right? And they're guided back to you until the contract is complete, right? So there's some sort of healing maybe, or maybe they're reflecting, right? Because we, we do live in a mirrored reality. So you're always reflecting, the energy that you have within so maybe it's a wounding you have or maybe it's something you need to let go right so this beautiful energy that we're connecting with right i keep seeing heart portal coming out so there's definitely heart chakra activations that are going on here right and healing but this has to do with destiny and life purpose right so i always let you know over here the energies that i'm connecting with sorry if you hear my noisy children we are on spring break right now so that's why i haven't been uploading daily and normally upload daily right but i'm working on getting another table so i'll have some more quiet space right okay but we're connecting with this new moon in pisces energy very strongly came in as this was a supercharged new moon that came in on march 10th we're going to be feeling it to the 17th and now we're in alignment with the 3-3 gateway portal of March. It's really our second one. We had our first one on the third. So major opening of the portal in the gateway. And then this is like a culmination of that energy on the third, on the 12th. I keep saying 13th on the 12th of March, because in numerology, you add the two numbers together to giving you a three. So that's why the 12th is, is three. So this is um, three, three. And um, so this dreamy energy is also in alignment with um, Neptune, which is the ruler of Pisces. It's traveling in tandem with the new moon. So this really dreamy energy is really coming out, but it's like this major healing is taking place. And when this healing takes place, it's kind of like now you're, you're getting inspired to go after your fantasies, your dreams, your desires. So I'm saying like the fantasy floodgates are like open at this time. So if you're catching this in real time, it's real fun. So definitely subscribe if you have not. So you can catch my readings in real time as they're more fun as I connect with cosmic energies. But all of my readings are timeless because sometimes these energies come through, but they take time to integrate within, right? So know that. So there's a major heart healing that's going on. Again, with the healing and comfort card here, faith and restoration. So this is coming out in magical um, dimensions, right? As I pull for every portal and gateway, because each month we have portals and gateways synchronistic with universal coding, right as um numerology and numbers right is basically light language right so three three four 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 five you know what I mean? and things like that so definitely come back to me when you see synchronistic numbers right but you can always catch my portal and gateway readings but this has to do with destiny timelines that's why this is so exciting and then they're showing me exiled here, illusion of separation, disconnected, and isolation. For some of you, you could be coming out of this energy or you're being called to go into this energy to kind of isolate, kind of spend some time alone to know what your own energy is. Because for some of you, you're extremely highly empathic like me and you're constantly absorbing energy and you're not transmuting it very well. So you're holding frequency and energy that's not yours and you're needing to release it. So maybe some of you are like being put in isolation or called to be in isolation, right? And it could be a form of protection too. Certain doors could be shut and they are not going to be, you're not going to be able to have access to them. Certain people could be getting pulled from a frequency to kind of shut out because we are starting to do that, that um, disconnect, right? As we're raising our vibrational frequencies, you might notice that you actually feel uncomfortable around certain people or individuals. Um, that it's just you don't feel comfortable you don't feel as though you can relax and things like that so you could be starting to create boundaries and isolation and strong emphasis on the throat portal is coming out I was also getting it out and um, 
and the channeled messages, right? So the last reading I pulled a lot of Magical Dimensions and the Ascension. So I always try to upload in threes when I can. That's one of the codes and keys to the universe. So you can feel free to watch all three or whatever I upload daily together as the energies do build, but take whatever you feel is for you. So we're gonna get some more Oracle cards. I'm feeling this blue energy, and I do want to get into doing it at Tarot Room too, but I don't know how long this is going to go, because apparently they had more energies coming out. See, and strong sacral energy is coming out. For a lot of you, you're unlocking your sacral chakra, and you are getting this creative energy that you're going after. For some of you, there was dark attachments, and I talk about that in the last reading. Journey is also coming out in this card. For a lot of you, you're, you're going on a journey. I'm getting a pilgrimage for some of you. You're going to be going on, on like a spiritual journey. So it might not be like physically going. Maybe that's why we're being called in isolation because they were showing me the meditate card too. For some of you writers. And they want you to write. Some of you have automatic writing. You get into a, a meditative state and you just start writing. And spirit works through you. So you could be getting something due to writing things down. For some of you, you're being called to clear your space because your your surroundings and things like that are affecting your energetic frequency, right? Because see, very strongly, I'm getting feeler. Very, very strongly empathic vibes here. So you're feeling a lot of energy. For some of you, you need to get outside, go outdoors because you need to disconnect from the energies from your surroundings. And teachers here. Some of you are spiritual teachers, shamans, gurus, or you could be connecting with one as I am one. So maybe you're connecting more with me and you're getting more guidance and I'm teaching something to you. Definitely talking to my healers. <laughs> like I said, my platform is for the healers, right? For the chosen, the one for four, star seeds, earth angels, light workers. I can activate things within you and get you online. Also, there's this big emphasis of clearing out emotional traumas and moonies that are blocking your chakras, getting your chakra systems online with source. Because when you align your chakra systems, you get online. You get very, very powerful downloads, activations. Because you can only connect with divine source energy when you're in high vibrations. Otherwise, when you're in low vibrations, then you get controlled by the devil and that dark energy, which you don't want to, right? Somebody's getting enhanced um, psychic abilities and gifts. We've got clear audience here. You could be noticing that you're starting to hear your divine team, your spiritual um, team, your ancestors. They're showing me divine father. For a lot of you, you are unlocking and you are connecting with true source energy. You could have been disconnected, isolated, as a lot of a lot of you out were offline due to traumas and woundings and having fear because they really control through fear base, really block your chakra system, so have you not connect. And also a lot of things, foods that you could be eating, ingesting, and things like that can calcify your pineal gland, which disconnects you from source energy too, which a lot of times that gets unlocked when you're unlocking your chakra system and it kind of forces the energy through your chakra systems, which unlocks your third eye and your crown chakra. Okay. So you could be feeling like certain foods really make you ill too, right? Especially if you've been taking breaks, right? I'm fasting, I'm hearing for some of you, because you need to go through some detoxifications. Also, just eating more healthier, cleaner foods. There's confirmation by phone. Eating healthier foods are gonna allow you to feel better and unlock these different things too. Some of you, you really need to ground yourself, right? You need to get out into nature, ground yourself, get away from the electronics, things like that. Release the past is a really, really big one too. You really need to release past. Um, release everything from the past. As time is but an illusion, all that matters is here in the now. All right. Let's get some divination of the ancients too. Confirmation. Shooting star. You're going to be getting some sort of confirmation. Some of you could literally see a shooting star. And it doesn't always mean like an actual shooting star. It's because spirit and knows how to work with those electronic devices. So you could like see a shooting star like in a commercial. Or maybe somebody's posting the emoji on something. Um, but you could be or seeing somebody walk by with a star on their shirt. Or nowadays I've been getting a lot of connections through people's tattoos and things like that. It's so beautiful. Right? You're noticing that you're looking at something, but it's confirmation that something's the truth here, that you need to take some sort of chance, die, dice, gamble. You're going to know what are you thinking about when you see the star symbol. When you see the star symbol, it's going to unlock something like, oh, there's my confirmation that Crystal's talking about or whatever. Or you're going to get that feeling, right? But you're going to unlock something and you're going to know that it's, that it's time to pursue some sort of dream, desire to go after something. 
You're gonna, look, it came right back out. Shooting star confirmation came out with the book and knowledge. For some of you, this is gonna be confirmation that you need to pursue something, that you need to study, learn, investigate. Like, I'm getting somebody's going through their passions or dreams or desires. They're showing me master here too, mastery. Somebody could be going like after their masters or something like that. Wheel of Fortune, Fate. Some of you are meant to be mystics. Look at this, the mystical card came out with the clouds and astrology. Maybe some of you are starting to study astrology, numerology. Maybe you're being guided to take a look at your birth chart, right? Or let me slow this energy down. Maybe you are being called to do your birth chart analyzer, take a look at your numerology and your alignments, right? Can lead you toward your can show can reveal to you your north node, your south node, where you came from, what you learned, what you're what you have mastered in this what you've mastered in past lifetimes, what you're supposed to build off of in this lifetime to kind of point you to your true north. As this is the time when we're really being dreamy. For some of you, you could have the skill set and abilities, like you could be an oracle, right? I know I was an oracle in a past life, right? And some of you were mystics where you could look up to the clouds and you can interpret messages, signs, synchronicities. If you notice that you look up to the clouds a lot, it's a sign that you have that sort of skill and ability in a past life. You're really going after your destiny timeline, which is very beautiful. You could be getting messages from spirit, right? Confirmations, you could be seeing feathers, runes, perceptions. You're definitely going to be seeing things more clearly. You're going to be getting more confirmations. <laughs> Affirmations. They really want you to write out the things that you want and desire too. Is it's a very, very powerful thing. The first part of manifestation, right, is, is thinking and creating, and then it's affirming and writing it down, and then it's attaching your emotions to that and believing that you have it. It's attainable. It's coming to you. It's co-creating with divine source. Look, numerology is coming out here, and also caution Ouija board. So you have some sort of caution card here wisdom and oracle somebody definitely was an oracle before that's why you're guided to that could be why you're guided to oracle readings or oracle cards crystal healing as well what's this warning about warnings about the dreams you know and it's interesting last ring i was talking about spiritual spouses some of you have had spiritual spouses that have connected with you or try to get you into contracts in your dreamscape that's why you need to be doing some sort of protection before you go to sleep, like saying prayers or or doing something right. Um, be very careful, mindful of when you're dreaming, like uh, uh, accepting. If you're dreaming about certain lovers and things like that, like what's going on in those? Are they like trying to marry you? Are they trying to sleep with you? Are they, are they trying to connect with you in some way? Once you through front of the clock as I say that, you could be seeing those numbers, confirmation. Something is trying to start, reset. All right, those are some of the channel messages. I feel like I need to slow this energy down. It comes through very fast through portals to me as I'm a gatekeeper. I help anchor in this energy, and sometimes it comes through very, very intense. And I got to slow it down. All right. So they're guiding me to the tarot. I pull this deck for every new moon and full moon, right? I love it. It's the darker side. And I recently realized the feminine aspects of this deck. It's very strong feminine energy. I feel I'm talking to a lot of my feminines out here, but you don't have to because we all have feminine energies and masculine within. It's about balancing those energies out. See this three of cups. She is celebrating, but she's with spirit. There's a strong energy of you celebrating in isolation or you celebrating alone. You celebrating with spirit. So for some of you, you're celebrating something that you're accomplishing. Queen of Cups, in this very beautiful, loving energy. You're setting yourself free. She's setting herself free from something. She's been looking for the right way to do that. Do you hear that loudness? Maybe that's what's been going on around you. You see how she's like chained to that glass and she's looking at it like, I have to get myself out of the situation, but I don't want to destroy the glass. So maybe you're finding a different way to do that. You're looking at your options, Seven of Cups, with the world. Something is definitely closing out. Wow, Two of Cups is reversed. There's some sort of decision that you don't want to make when it has to do with love. Maybe this is not wanting to let go of a lover. Maybe somebody's in a situation where they're not wanting to hurt somebody. Somebody's very stressed out about some sort of tower moment. I feel they're afraid what's going to happen when they speak and they express their emotions and their feelings. the full card somebody's wanting a new beginning i'm getting this strong energy like somebody's wanting to pursue their dreams desires their passions and somebody's like not for it so it's like there needs to be an ending wow oh, confirmation on the phone there needs to be some sort of ending because somebody's choosing their passions dreams and desires right over love 1441 on the clock is to say that universal code energy number we'll see oh, spirit 
Yeah, Hermit with Four of Swords. Yeah, somebody needs to definitely spend some time alone to heal. There's going to be some sort of transformation. Dark Knight of the Soul is going to happen. Hold on. Let me check this because I got my son coming home. So um, I'm going to have to stop this reading when he gets here. So the Hierophant that's coming out here, this is my divine source, God, energy, life force card. You've learned some sort of karmic lessons because, you know, this is a student and the teacher. This often comes out to me, too, when there's higher levels of ascension, especially with the angel Dean Lena Wheat. This is Dark Knight of the Soul, major transformation. So there's been definitely like a leveling up and that's why there needs to be an ending here because you connected with somebody on an energetic frequency but somebody's learned some sort of lesson it was like a karmic cycle lesson loop pattern all these noises right oh my goodness and you hear my kids laughing in there so there needs but see this ending is going to level you up there was like some sort of ending that needed to happen but there's a leveling up empress see somebody wasn't being treated as an empress because in this deck if you look like she's sitting there like i've been here too long i know my worth i've got all this beautiful energy to create but i'm not creating for some reason like you're not able to create because i keep showing you this page of pentacles i'm getting this energy like she's really wanting to create but there's been some sort of blockage right nine of wands there is there's this just very very painful ending that's been consuming her I feel there's definitely something that is over that's meant to be over nine nine you could be seeing repeating nine sign of pinnacle sign of wands see it's like you need to get into the single independent energy to eliminate the challenges obstacles and blockages I'm getting like an impressive lover I always get that with this lover's card right as he looks like he's looking at her like you're mine you're not going anywhere you belong to me. So I'm picking up this, this strong spiritual spouse energy. And four of wands. Like she looks like she's in a torn wedding dress. Things like that. I don't know why I just said things like that. I got distracted. She's in a torn wedding dress in this four of wands. And she's looking to the light. Somebody has been waiting for like a rescue or a healing or like a being set free. But you need to realize it's about setting yourself free. Someone needs to set themselves free of an impressive lover. Somebody's trying to dominate control. The moon could be revealing this. Or there's some sort of secrets that are going to be revealed. Somebody was doing some sort of magic. The moon with the magician. Like dark energy. This could be somebody from the past, Six of Cups, past life lovers, but there needs to be an ending. Death card energy. Alright. You're about to go outside. Six of I'm still recording. Six of Swords energy. There's um I'm still recording. Close okay. it. There's moving Six of Swords energy. Some sort of moving needs to happen. Judgment. Someone needs to move away from something for the sun. There needs an ending came out on top of judgment, the six of swords. It fell out right on top. So there definitely needs to be an ending. So this is a very hard ending. Yeah, two of pentacles. It's like for healing to take place and ending. You could be seeing repeating twos. Two of wands, two of pentacles. Justice. For justice to come in, there needs to be an ending. All right. 
All right, I'm going to close this out and do other readings because my children need to go play outside. They've been trying to hide and avoid being outside. <laughs> right? So, um, but let me get into doing some other readings with this energy. Watch whatever you feel guided to. Love and light to all of you. Hope this helped. Definitely subscribe to the channel. If you have not, you're guided to me for a reason. Know that. Love you. Bye.